Hello everyone, the most healthiest way to consume fruit juices is to juice your fruits naturally. As you can see here, I have a fruit juice recipe here, all ready for my steam and sauna room session. In the sauna room, I consume 5 litres of fluid in 3 hours. So if I spend three hours in the steam and sauna room, I make sure I have five litres of fluid. As you can see here, I've got five litres of vacuum flask here. These are stainless steel vacuum flask. I must point out that you must never use a thermos glass vacuum flask, flask as these are very dangerous and they, uh, they can all of a sudden shatter on you as I'll show you in a minute. So here we have five whole oranges, one lemon and two large grapefruits. These are the grapefruits. Here are your lemons and there are your oranges. Here's one part of the grapefruit there and your oranges are here. All juiced in this juicer if you can, you can buy a Nutribullet and turn these into smoothies. But I just want to juice these for the steam sauna session. And here's a juice in this bowl which I'll put in the freezer to chill. Not freeze, but to chill. And this will provide me with a lot of vitamins and also hydration. There's about one litre of juiced fruits in here, which is straight from the fruits juiced and to my flask. In the other flask I'll have pure coconut water to the red flasks. I have one with coconut water pure one litre and that will be the fruit juices of this one here. The rest will be pure filtered water so I'll hydrate properly. So here we are a healthy juiced fruit and I look forward to drinking this. I'm going to now give you a demonstration in a minute of a dangerous thermos glass um, a vacuum flask and why you should not be using these flasks. This is what can happen to you when you use a glass, and I repeat, I repeat, a glass, thermos flask. Always stick to a stainless steel vacuum flask for safety. This will happen to me where I consumed a huge proportion of the internal parts of a broken flask. I was totally unaware of the flask being broke, and watch this. Let's take a look at the bits that fall into your mouth and you can drink if you're not careful. My flask had given up and shattered inside for the first time ever 
I had a broken flask. The first time it happened to me on any glass vacuum flask. I've always purchased the stainless steel ones, but I thought I'd try the glass vacuum ones. I have had a glass vacuum, a glass vacuum one in the past. This has never happened. All of a sudden, this happens to me. Firmers have not been very good to me. I was going to sue, but I'm not going to bother. It's a waste of my energy. I've got a better thing to do than to pursue a suing claim for a broken flask. This can kill someone. So I'd like to point out to people just to take note and to, to be tread with care when using a glass vas vacuum flask. It's a fact this can happen and it caused me about five months of coughing, at least five months continu continuous coughing, which I got rid of by consuming large amount of porridge with bran and wheat germ and loads of um, roughage like cabbages, excessive amounts. So it's passed from my body safely. This flask I'm going to send to someone to analyze I don't think I'll send it to Firma, so I'll send it to someone, some other body we can, uh, who can protect people. What you need is protection for people from using dangerous um, products. What I wanted from Firmos, because I paid for this flask, I have lots of receipts, but I wanted a completely new flask, a vacuum stainless steel flask to replace. So I won't feel like I've wasted my money and lost. How I feel a bit bitter with Firmos, they have not corresponded with me very well, and I'm quite disappointed in that. I wanted a replacement product and I left it at that. Anyway, thanks for watching and do stay away from these Fermos flasks and stick to a vacuum stainless steel flask. This is what this side of my flask looks like. And these, I've taken utmost care and precaution in using this flask. No banging, no sudden hot and cold. Um, uh, use of hot water or hot drinks in it no no ice cubes or anything inside of this at all I followed the instructions to the T and yet still it, the, the flask has failed me I must point out this is a rare occurrence because it never happened to me before but the problem is, when it does happen, how does firmers deal with their customers? That's what was concerned me and has put me off ever purchasing their products again.